Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Power BI is vast like the universe. Today we will see some admin options available for security and customization. Let's see how we can receive snapshots of our reports directly to our mailbox. For this, we need to go to the relevant report and select the email subscription at the top menu options. Once we select that, we will get options like adding a new subscription and managing. But currently don't have any subscriptions available, so if we click on that, we will not get any results to display. Let's go back and create a new subscription, we can create as many as we want. Click on add, we can see all the options available such as the name of the subscription, to whom all the mail should go, the schedule and the frequency. We can choose to receive after the load or daily, hourly, or weekly based on a particular time. As we can see the day options are not available for the after data refresh option. It depends totally on the data refresh. In more options, we have the subject name, an optional message to include, the report page, and the email subscription start date and end date. Also, we can permit to access, the link and the image. The full report as an attachment is only available for premium capacity users. Now let us close and save it. The email subscription is added successfully. What if, as an admin for security reasons, can we disable email subscriptions? Yes, we can disable it, but only the Power BI admin can do this. For doing this, click on settings and select admin portal. And go down or search for email subscriptions. We can see two options available for email subscriptions. One is email subscriptions for external users out of the organization and another for internal users. So just select disable and apply the settings. The settings will affect once we refresh the page. Now to validate go to your report and check whether it's disabled or not. And there we go it is disabled. Next is adding a custom message before publishing a report. Admins can provide a custom message that appears before a user publishes a report from Power BI Desktop. Go to the admin portal and select show a custom message before publishing a report. Enable and type the message. We can apply this custom message only to a particular group of users if needed or the entire organization, and even exclude a specific group of users. Click on Apply. If we have a report open on the Power BI desktop, just close and open again and try to publish, and we will see the custom message appearing. Next is to disable creating a new workspace. Sometimes you will a lot of unwanted workspaces created in Power BI, you want that to be disabled to avoid this issue. Power BI admin can disable this, just by going to the admin portal and disabling the create workspaces. We can apply this setting to a particular group of users or the entire organization. And as well as exclude a particular group of users. Next is, a shareable link in Power BI. Sometimes this shareable link can become a security vulnerability as a link can give access to that report to an entire organization. To avoid this admin can disable this setting in the admin portal. 
This tenant setting is available for admins looking to disable creating shareable links to people in your organization. For doing this, click on settings and select admin portal. And go down or search for allow shareable links. Select disable and apply the settings. Once disabled and applied. Let us go back to the report and check. And there we can see it is disabled. Next is downloading the PBIX file, Power BI Admin can disable this feature as well. Just go to the admin portal and search for download reports. And select disable. Similar to other settings, we have options to exclude a group of users. Now let us go refresh and verify whether it is applied or not. And there we can see, we don't have a download option. If we enable that again and check, we can see the download is available now. In this way, we can utilize many other options available to improve security. Now, what if you need to see the usage metrics of the entire organization like how many dashboards and reports are available, how many workspaces are there, the datasets and much more. Just go to the admin portal and select usage metrics. We can see all the metrics available here. In this way, the admins can utilize the available features and improve the security and we also saw how we can get email subscriptions on the reports. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.